Hey all, how's it going? Jameis Winston should be owned in most leagues by now, but he's someone that you might want to take a look at for weeks 15 and 16 with the Lions and Texans as his opponents. These two teams have been giving away points 23% and 32% above the league average over the season and adjusting for the last three weeks. They also have the second and fourth least amount of interceptions in the entire NFL, something that heavily benefits Jameis Winston. Winston on third down. Winston throws back of the end zone. Touchdown, Chris Godwin. Also, Jeffrey has missed a lot of games, but is back in the lineup and has no competition for targets right now. 16 targets against the Dolphins, and it is not like he will face tougher opponents. No, it stays just as easy moving forward. The Giants at home is a dream come through. And you really want to take advantage of this matchup to get you one step further in the fantasy playoffs. The bench not out there on third down and 10. And Foles able to get away and throw. Pass is caught. Jeffrey, touchdown. I've been talking about Philip Lindsay's playoff schedule for weeks now. And it has stayed the best in the league. He has the best matchup of any running backs in week 14. And then he plays the Kansas City Chiefs and the Detroit Lions. Dream matchups for any running back. The problem here is that he's most likely owned everywhere, but I want you to be aware of him for DFS purposes. First down, Philip Lindsay back in. Lindsay waits, great patience. Lindsay cutting to the outside. He's got blazing speed, and he's gone. Touchdown, Broncos. Zach Pascal hasn't really impressed that much, but has the second best schedule for a wide receiver in weeks 14 to 16 against the Buccaneers, Saints, and Panthers, pretty much the NFC South. These teams all give up 23% above the league average to wide receivers. That is a lot of points up for the taking for a guy that saw 10 targets against the Titans, and the Titans give up 9% below the league average to wide receivers, so he has some really good matchups ahead of him. Two on third down on this drive. Brissett looks both ways. Quick pass, that's complete. Going for the end zone is Zach Pascal for the touchdown. Hello, Fantasy Faithful. I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to check out more of them right here and here. In case you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss a beat.